Yo, what's up everyone? We're in the Zev Centric R1S. We are going to head to a Tesla supercharger. Thanks to Chris who lent us an A to Z adapter. This is your NAX adapter. Check that out. A to Z, big shout out to them. We'll put a link in the description or in the bio or wherever it may be so you guys can buy one of these. In the event you do not want to wait for Rivian to provide you one, if you just bought your Rivian, it's probably gonna take a long time. I know the early guys who got in and bought their Rivians first are gonna get precedence and priority. So I'm gonna show you guys how to map to a Tesla supercharger. We're gonna go ahead and filter things out. We're gonna hit the network button here on the map. We're gonna hit Tesla. We're gonna go here and we are going to just look for this one here. We're gonna hit that and we're gonna go. We are in the land of Fremont. Tesla factory is literally like, like right here, right? Oh yeah, it's right there. All right guys, let's hit the road. We're at the Tesla Supercharger with the A to Z EV plug adapter. All right guys, so we went into the Tesla app. We're gonna choose the charger that we're at, which is Warm Springs. We're gonna say charge here. All right, we're gonna choose our stall, which is 2A. 2A. Okay, we're gonna hit start charging. All right, so we got the A to Z adapter. We're gonna go in here. We're gonna go ahead and release this locking mechanism, get that thing in there tight. Lock this, push this down. So now you know it's locked in. We're gonna go ahead, open up the charge port. It's down. Get this thing plugged in. I heard it, oh, there you go. It's initializing and it is charging and it is ramping. 268 miles per hour, 295, 309, 323, 350. All right, there we go. 353, 354. And there you go. This is what we're generating right now. We only have about, uh, I think we came in with about a 30% SOC. We did precondition, but my office is only maybe like four or five miles from here. So we didn't get a lot of time to precondition the battery. 169 kilowatts isn't bad. I don't know what this actual stall is rated at. Um, I think it's 250 though. Oh, and check this out guys. We're actually not blocking any stalls for other Tesla owners, which we are. But we're not exactly parked in the best place either, so check this out. Check this out. <laughs> we're in the no parking spot. But that one can be used. And obviously we're using this one. Tesla friendly. We did it. We plugged in a Tesla supercharger. Big thanks again, A to Z for their EV adapter. It's about 200 bucks. We'll put a link. Um, hopefully we can get one for ourselves, but a big shout out to Chris for letting us borrow his. And uh, yeah, stay tuned, man, for more Rivian adventures. Now we can actually travel with this thing and tow. Let's go.